this hour, while businesses are feeling the pain of the new COVID-19 restrictions already, health experts are hopeful that they will provide some much needed relief. Our Lauren Coomer spoke with infectious disease physicians to learn how they feel about these new rules that, again, will go into effect on Wednesday. Lauren? Doug and Annie, infectious disease doctors say here in Kalamazoo, hospitals have been busy. And with the rise of COVID-19 case numbers, they say it's no surprise that new guidelines were put into place. The hospitals in Michigan are just about at capacity and there's no more that we can do. And so at this point, people should not expect the healthcare system just to take more and more and more COVID patients. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services announcing new COVID-19 guidelines on Sunday, including ending indoor dining and drinks and making all high schools and universities switch to remote learning. The Director of Infection Prevention and Epidemiology at Bronson says it's important to have some specificity. And they address the riskiest activities and they 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 narrowed them, you know, they they reduced the, the risk there, but they didn't um, cancel everything. And so I think it was a nice calibrated approach to the epidemic. Dr. Tom Flynn, the chief of infectious disease for WMU Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine, says it's a question of what do we gain by what we do. Hopefully a shutdown of the sort that's being um, uh, asked for and enacted will uh, lessen the amount of virus going forward as we get into the worst time of year for it. With a set three-week period for the new guidelines, both doctors say they're hopeful numbers will flatten or go down. I think it's a beginning. I think that what we'll, we'll, we will hope to then see is whether it has any effect, marked effect or limited effect. And all of the effects you're going to see are in a delayed fashion anyway. That includes the incubation period for the virus plus a little bit more. And I think that that's a perfect time to reassess and see if the curve is starting to flatten out or we hope <laughs> go down. Going forward, Dr. Flynn says he's hopeful we'll have a vaccine to start implementing in either December or January to get this pandemic under the control. But for now, the guidelines will go into effect on Wednesday and we'll have more detail on those up on our website. Reporting live in Kalamazoo, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.